Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back of it. Just a quick video today on this, um, but we'll follow it up. I promise we will follow it up with a, a more in depth video uh, based on the comments that you make on this. So, what you'll see before you is a FLIR, a FLIR camera that's a thermal, uh, thermal limiting infrared, a thermal limiting infrared camera. And this was lent to me by Jared, the multi roto guy. And uh, I don't know what it's called. Is it the FLIR one? Yes, it is. The FLIR one for Android. And it's got the wrong type of connector for my phone. So we're going to be doing a little bit of adaptation and adaptation upon adaptation to get it into the USB C on mine. It's a little bit. Uh, what's the word? That's the correct word. Pantsy. A little bit pantsy. Um, in fact, how do I do this? Hang on. I thought I had all the adapters here. Let's let's work this out. So that's not going to go in the phone. That's going to go. So I could plug that directly into my phone as is. Good. Yes, that works. Or alternatively, I can put this on and this on, and then I can move the camera independently to point it at stuff. Phew! You don't necessarily need to all those adapters. You just need to get the right one. You get one of the USB-C on it if you've got a USB-C fan. So when you plug it in, you plug it straight in, and it should just load up the application, and it does. Um, open FLIR one is uh, used by default. Yes, please, please open it, and then it will, as, as if by magic, should turn itself on. And it's got two cameras in it, by the way. It's got a regular camera and a thermal infrared camera. The benefit of that is, of course, you can then see. So you can, well, I'm telling you that, but you can't see anything. You can see what the uh, the camera can sort of see uh, in um, normal vision overlaid with the thermal. So just to show you here, you can see the outline there of my bench multimeter, for example. But in a normal flea, you wouldn't see that. You would just see the heat map. Got, got it? Yeah, got it. You have got it. Um, you've got all the usual fleary type functions. I've got get it pointed the right way be able to have a better look um, my favorite function is this one of course which is useful for sort of looking at electronics so you can sort of hold that up and then it'll give you the temperature at any point on the device so I'm actually pointing it on the screen of my phone and you can see there it's saying it's about 30 degrees 23 it's flashing around a bit to be fair um, or you can uh, point it at yourself if you can figure out how it should be held there we go I'm just gonna hold it up there hi that's me looking extra weird a bit more weird than usual but how hot am I 32 degrees at least I'm a normal temperature if not a normal looking person I mean can I do anything look at my hands my hands are a different temperature that is so cool. Are my hands hotter or colder than my face? I guess they're colder. So the, the brighter it is, the hotter it is, uh, the, the colder it is, sorry, my mistake. I wonder now if I take my hand away, will you get a handprint? Oh, a little bit of a handprint. That is so freaky. Hi, hi. Look into my eye. Yeah. So I'm going to be uh, probably playing with this a bit. If you want me to uh, try anything particular with it, I'm happy to do so. That's weird, by the way, that weird uh, effect. Because I'm holding it closer to my face, I'm getting a parallax effect between the regular camera on it and the infrared camera. That's why you're seeing a sort of strange shadow. But yeah, pretty neat, pretty neat. I uh, I think that's a, a fun a fun gadget. Oh, something of interest, by the way, if you hold it up to the camera, you can see the... Uh, the old lens is quite reflective there, the old glass. Yeah. So please leave some comments down below and we can uh, have a little play with that. And just uh, let me know what you want me to have a point at or any questions about it and I'll try to address them in the next video. But I think that's uh, a pretty snazzy thing really. I, I think it's, it's, a lot, it's a lot of fun and they used to be so expensive and although these aren't really cheap, I wouldn't say they're cheap, they're certainly a lot more affordable than they used to be. So there you go. Thanks for watching.